Hi everyone, it's Gok Wan here and I'm back working with JD Williams on our shared mission to make women feel more confident with their fashion. Today we're going to be exploring what does it mean to be midlife and busting those midlife myths when it comes to fashion, breaking down those negative stereotypes often associated with the term. I'm about to meet someone who's a household name and a very beautiful person and I cannot wait to discover her personal style. Oh, nice look at to you. see you. Oh, you look amazing. Oh, look at you always look oh, amazing. Stop it. Do you look like this when you go hiking up the mountains? No, but then I'd also, just because I live here doesn't mean I spend all of my time right. in cagoules. Exactly. It's so beautiful here. So what are the things that are most important in your life? Friends, children, family. So my best friends are my friends from school. Right. Everybody knows everybody. Like, my kids play football with the kids of blokes I grew up with and I think that's just a really good way to move through life. Right. I think people think the countryside is boring and the city's frenetic. Yeah, that's me. I'm one of those people. I love going to the city but I'm happy to leave. Right. What is it about <laughs> nature that you love? I think being outside is quite humbling because you're not in control of it. Storms come along and storms pass and I think that is a brilliant metaphor for life. Do you think nature is restorative? 100%. It's like plugging back in for me. Wind in your face, fresh air in your lungs, it makes you eat better, it makes you sleep better. There's no better therapy than that, is there? So how do you possibly manage such a busy life? I think people always say, the when you've got kids and you've got a job, people say, oh, the juggle, the juggle, the juggle. But actually, most people who have kids have to work. Very few people have the luxury of not having to work. It's a given that my kids are going to turn up at the birthday party and the present will not be wrapped. My laundry basket is never empty. My fridge is rarely full. If quite often my hallway needs a hoover. But I think if you just accept that's who you are, it's fine. Yeah. We just put too much pressure on ourselves. Yeah. So I just take the pressure off. Would you agree that your midlife is completely transformative? I think the older you get, the less you care about people's opinions. And that's a brilliant thing. You sort of realise not everyone's opinion matters. Yeah. Let's go. So I'm really excited about spending the day with you. The girls are coming over. You're going to love my girls. Thank you so much for letting me into your bedroom. Now, before we do your fashion, we've got to talk about beauty and skincare. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm a loss with it. OK. There's serums, there's collagens, there's retinol, there's vitamin, yeah. there's exfoliating, there's cleansing, yeah. there's moisturising, there's toning. There's a lot. There is a lot. The thing is, you're in really safe hands. I am an ex-hair and makeup artist, so I started off in beauty okay. before fashion. So tell me, how has your beauty and makeup priorities changed with reaching midlife? I look in the mirror and I'm like, it's all it's all getting liney around the eyes. Yeah. You are, you know, you're 40 now, your skin is going to change. You know, you've lived in your life and you've been outside and stuff. But what you can do is you can not turn back the hands of time, but you can prevent it from going a little bit quicker. Do you so, see what I mean? So we're stuck with what we got. If I take control, it's not going to get you worse. You can pretty rapidly. much slow it down. OK. Does it bother you, <laughs> your face changing, your skin changing? Sometimes I just feel like my face is so dry. Yeah. Almost like you could crack it. Yeah, and that's because you're outside a lot. So the first thing you want to do is you want to apply a serum. I would go for a retinol serum. And this is an Olay one, so it's an entry-level price one. It's a high street price. What retinol does is it promotes collagen. So it promotes the production of the elasticity in your skin. So a vitamin C serum is always going to feed your skin. That's going to make it not feel dry and really, really supple. And that's like having a really good meal on your skin. All your serums are before moisturising. Always finish on moisturising. Okay. Moisturising is your final layer to put in softness into the skin. Okay. okay, got you. Okay, another wonder product, which is almost feels like it's been designed for you, is the Pry Beauty because it's for your neck. It's going to give all that moisture and you want to protect this part of your skin because as you get older, you lose the collagen in this part of your body as well. And so it just kind of promotes all of that kind of softness and suppleness. This is my favourite part of my body to show off. And when's the last time you moisturised your chest area? Your never. Backup? So you've never moisturised no. that? No. So important. That is skin. That is skin. This is skin here. All of it needs to be looked after. Okay. So cleanse. You need to cleanse, you need to serum, you need to moisturise. OK. OK, we know what's going on with the skin now. Okay. Now it's about outfits. Don't ask me what my style is, because it's a, like a bit of everything. OK. I don't like a pigeonhole. OK, right. And how do you feel about your body? How do you feel about you know, what you present to the world? Because you, you come across as uber confident. 
Yeah, but I think that comes with age. Yeah. I think when you're in your 20s, I would probably, like everybody, you do every bit of exercise and every diet. Yeah. And now I've hit a point where I'm like, I love my legs to be longer and leaner, but actually, I've got three healthy children and I'm still using them. Yeah, and you've got gratitude for the skin yeah. that you're in. My girlfriends represent every body shape. Mm -hmm. Teeny tiny six yeah. and other ends of the spectrum. But as far as I can see, everybody should be celebrated, regardless of age, shape, size, yeah. ability, the full works. And for me as a stylist and dressing you for tonight, it's all about me dressing your personality. You've got an entire rail of clothes from JD Williams. And we're going to start with this one, right? Yeah. So this beautiful shirt dress uh, is available in April. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now it's very prim up top uh, with the placket done all the way to the top. It's also got like the set down collars as well. So it's going to feel very, very neat up here. But then what you do is you come down with the print all of a sudden to a big detail around the waist. That's your little nugget of personality. But I also think when you hit my point of life, yeah. you sort of think, oh, I want to look attractive, sexy, therefore yeah. I need to flash a bit of skin. No, no. But no. I'm too old for a bit of skin. Okay, all right. You know so I mean? we need to talk about this too old for a bit of skin because women get told so many different rules in their life. That's they what get I mean. Rules when they're younger, yes. rules, rules in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. When you get to your age, you should be knocking all those rules out and thinking, actually, if I feel sexy and I feel amazing, even though in a dress like this with a full sleeve, high neck, all the way down, hardly any skin on show, the idea that it's a present to be unwrapped, the idea... Oh, you get see you. what I mean? So it's a, your sexiness is in a completely different um, guise. So that's okay. The, piece. the second piece is the jumpsuit. Love a jumpsuit. I mean, you know, about your personality, you're on the go, you've got the kids, you're up a mountain, you're in a lake, you're dropping the kids off at school, you're then going off to work and stuff. There's something about a jumpsuit which is super sexy. You can see your entire frame, especially in a lighter tone like this. You've got this kind of slightly denim wash, mm -hmm. which is really, really good. So you've got the cap sleeve, which will always take your waist in. You've got the belt as well. It's going to be a tight fit around your hips, also down to the legs. Whack on a posh handbag and a pair of sunglasses. You're out for lunch. Really versatile. There you go. I like that. Bish, bash, bosh. Now, moving over to this. So this probably feels like the most conservative thing. The boucle jacket. So what would I wear this with? So I would put this with anything. Jeans and a t-shirt. Okay. Really simple with a pair of trainers. An evening dress uh, on your shoulders. I'd put it with a pussy bow blouse, a pencil skirt, a pair of heels, seam stockings, a million different things. It becomes a look because all of a sudden what you're doing is you're taking something which you would expect, changing it up into something you don't expect, which is exactly your personality. The minute this is on the shoulders, and you imagine you've just got a t-shirt and a pair of flare jeans. I mean, it's gorgeous. That's perfect. There's a mirror behind it. Sold. You. Right, go buy them off for lunch. Maybe not in my jammies. Right. So we've got this beautiful satin skirt. We've also got this really nice blues on top with the shoulder pads in. We've got the high neck, front and back. It's also got really beautiful drapes on the arms as well. But it's beautiful, but I, in, I look at that and think, you need to be seven foot tall and yoga. So interesting that earlier okay. on, you were talking about how confident you are <laughs> and how amazing it is, how your body's done amazing things. <laughs> and now you're questioning whether your body can wear this. I'm telling you right now, you are going to look statuesque and chic and beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, with a big statement necklace on the top. And if you wanted to, you could then always throw a blazer on top of the shoulders as well. I mean, this is a look which is so gorgeous. See, I love this, but I feel like this adds volume. You don't only have to wear tight-fitting clothes to show off your form. Your form can be showed off in different cuts as well. So tonight, you've got the girls coming over. What's a girls' night in look like for you? Uh, Non-stop chat. Everyone is talk, talk, talk over yeah. each other. They'll definitely be dancing. They'll definitely be moving around. My girlfriends have been my friends for life. Right. So it's the most... No boundaries. ...comfortable, safe space. Great. But my friends always do expect me to be put on an outfit. Right, OK. Well, I have the outfit for you that I think that you should wear. It's a two-piece. Uh, so it's a suit, essentially. We have got here a waistcoat, but we're going to put nothing underneath it. So we're going to have the clavicle, the decolletage, the arms on show, so it's going to feel super sexy, uh, but really wearable and really easy. We've also got the palazzo pants with a single pleat, but these are a wide leg from the hip all the way down. So all of that movement. But it's very simple, because there's just one colour all the way down with a pair of heels. You're going to be able to drink, dance, laugh, sing, do whatever you want to. And it's almost going to feel like really dressed up pyjamas. That's how it will feel. It's going to look very, very gorgeous. When you feel dressed up, you're more confident. I do. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Right, you go and get ready for the girls. OK. Whether you're meeting a mate for coffee, broadcasting to millions, or having all the girls around for a big night in, it's really important that you're dressing and feeling important, strong and confident. 
Working with JD Williams, we can see how some key pieces can really make a massive difference to your wardrobe. And that simple transformation is something that every single one of us can learn how to master.